Today I will show you how to create a motion background like this one using Filmora. So let's get started. To create this motion background I will firstly go to stock media. Here under the library tab I will go to gradient colors. From here I will choose a gradient color of my liking and I will drag it on the timeline. Then with this gradient layer selected I will click on duration. By default its duration is 4 seconds but I will change it to 10 seconds because that's how long I want my motion background to be. Now let me zoom in on the timeline to have a better view. Now I will go to titles and from here I will drag this default title on the timeline and I will place it on track number 2. I will increase its duration to match the duration of the gradient layer. Then I will double click on this title layer. I will click on advanced. Here I will delete this text. I will click on add shape and I will insert this shape. I will double click on the text inside the shape and I will delete it. Now I will move this yellow dot towards the outside to make sure that the corners of the shape are not rounded. Then I will disable this fill option because I do not want to fill anything inside the shape. Then I will scroll down and I will go to the option shape fill and I will disable this as well because I want a hollow shape. Then I will scroll down to shape border. I will make sure that this is activated and I will change the thickness value to 20. Then I will click on apply. So my shape is ready. Now I want to increase its size to some extent. So with this title layer selected I will go to the transform tab here and here I will change the scale value to 30. Now I want to animate this shape. So I will make sure that playhead is at the beginning of this video layer and I will put a keyframe for rotation and the value is set at 0 degree. Then I will move my playhead to the last frame. To make sure that you are exactly on the last frame of your video layer, you can watch the playhead position here because this is a 10 seconds long video, here the playhead position should also be 10 seconds. So now I am on the last frame of my video layer, here I will change the value of rotation to 360 degree. And you will notice that a second keyframe has been automatically added. Now my shape will animate like this. To make sure that this animation is smooth, here in the keyframe panel I will select both of these keyframes. Then I will click on this option here and I will apply linear curve. Now my animation will be super smooth. So I will click on OK and it will look something like this. Now I need to make 5 more copies of this animated shape. So for that I will click anywhere outside this layers on the timeline so that none of the layer is selected. Then while holding the option key on my Mac, I will simply drag this text layer upwards and it will create a duplicate copy. This is for Mac. If you are on a Windows, you have to use the Alt key instead of the Option key. So again I will click anywhere outside on the timeline to make sure that none of the layers is selected. Then holding the Option key I will drag it upwards and it will create a duplicate copy. Now I need to create 3 more copies so let me speed up this process to save your time. So now I have 6 animated square shapes placed one above another. One by one I will select all of them and then I will move them across my preview window like this. You don't have to be very uniform while arranging them on the preview window. So if I play this right now, it will look something like this. But what I want here is that three of my shapes should rotate in a direction opposite to the direction of the other three shapes. So what I'm gonna do is, I will select three shapes out of the six, one by one. I will change their direction of rotation. I will select this shape first and when I do that, the corresponding layer on the timeline is highlighted. I will double click on that and I will click on the last keyframe. I will change the value of rotation from 360 degree to minus 360 degree. Then I will select this shape and for that as well I will change the value of rotation to minus 360 degree and then I will do the same for this shape. I will change its value of rotation to minus 360 degree. I will click on OK. Our final motion background is ready. Let's render this and then preview how this looks like. So that's it for this video. If you find it useful, do hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos and thank you so much.